Assalamu alaikum. Welcome again. It's been such a long time. I really hope you guys are doing well and I hope you've been able to get out a little bit, um, keeping safe, right? Um, today I'm going to do a quick review on a website called sunnahmatch.com. I haven't really heard of it, heard about it, um, uh, but it was mentioned to me. So by this website is very basic and it's very simple. It seems to me like it's been put together by someone who doesn't really have that much experience when it comes to putting a matrimonial website together, but they did try their best to, you know, put it out there because it's seems as though they are genuinely you know interested in trying to help the community so as you look at the website you'll notice that there's basically you know an area in the beginning where they say that you can do a marital test where you have to answer these questions and then at the end you get the result of if you are i guess in a way capable of being married or if you're ready to be to be married um, or if you want to be single this is just the idea or i guess a fun way of them getting you to you know interact and use their um their website um as you go on further just really basic so basic like there's a huge gap in between each sections that tells you basically what their website is offering um so they have claimed that they are 100 percent halal um they claim to also be very private um you know names and pictures are anonymous and um also there isn't much left on the page to look at um, but if you go on the top of the page you'll notice that there's three links there is the you know about section the section to figure out how much your plan is which your plan you want to select and then there is the um, login page um, basically that's it so one thing i wanted to really quickly point out first is the use of the website i don't find it very user friendly um, for one if i wanted to get some faqs or find some questions or try to contact them if i had a question it was very difficult to find because it's not on the website it's not up in your face to say hey there's where i go at the bottom of the page or the top of the page um, to click on something so basically what i had to do was to google um, their website plus you know contact us contact email or contact phone number whatever it may be and that's how i actually found the page um, also the FAQs, it wasn't available directly on the website as well. I had to Google that as well to find that. So that's, um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that it's not free. Okay. So if you want to try the website out, you cannot try the website out at all. There's no way to get onto this website to check anything out. It's not free. You have to actually pay for a plan. Now their plans are pretty much all the same, um, except for one thing i noticed that was different they have three plans um they have like a monthly plan and then they have a yearly uh plan like a lifetime plan a yearly plan or lifetime plan so um the only difference between these three plans is the amount of requests you're allowed to um ask for really, now um, the request is basically you search through profiles and if you find someone that's interesting you can send a request um to the admin or the staff there saying hey i'm interested in this profile please provide more details about this person now the catch is um if you're on a monthly plan you're only allowed to get send three requests per month okay so only three people you're allowed to select from their database i don't know how big the database is um to let the staff know that you want to know more information about this person two plans they have they give you five requests okay so even if it's a lifetime plan or a yearly plan it's only five requests you're allowed to have so within that month you can select five people and send that information out and you know get the information about that person so they say they're 100 percent halal now i i don't know how true that is because i mean anyone who's going to claim that they're 100 percent halal i mean everything has to be done correctly you know you have to be monitoring conversations and things like that and um the thing is <laughs> i don't even know how the conversations happen because for one when you join the website you don't add you don't get assigned a name or a number you can't select a username or anything like that you're just identified as a brother if you're a male or a sister if you're a female and also uh, the women need to have a wally um if they are you know interested in someone they have to have that wally there to interact to get that you know communication going another thing is um even if you do have a place to put your name in um it's anonymous so no one's going to see your name and also your photos there are no photos on this website so you cannot see the person at all because according to them they believe that you know you have to meet in person um, in order to get a good connection to see if you're actually attracted to the person, which makes no sense to me because, I mean, you are looking to get married, right? And, you know, the database of people that they have, you're going to expect, you know, not to know how this person looks like, just to just talk to them and then not know how they look like and then say, let's meet. I mean, in reality, people don't really operate like that. Another thing I noticed is that um, 
you're not able to really have a conversation. I don't even know how the conversation works because if you send a request to get information about the person, um, really you, you basically get to know a little bit more about them and, and what they like and I guess dislike. Um, but to actually send a message to talk to them, you need to have someone involved in there, right? Because if you want to be 100% halal, you need to have a mediator or someone in between your conversation monitoring everything you're saying to make sure it's 100% halal, right? Uh, so I don't know how that works because I did not actually sign up for a plan. And when you do sign up for a plan, something that you need to know is that you need to have a phone number. So you need to have an actual working phone number, an email address, and your name, and you, you, know, you sign up. Um, what happens after that? I don't know. I'm not sure uh, because I didn't go to that process. Another thing I want to let you know is that they have um, a uh, Instagram website. So when they go on Instagram, they basically give you these they have these videos that they talk about their website, give you more tips and information about it. Um, and also at one point when I was checking, they had given you example profiles of new members that have joined their website. So those profiles are either blue for men and pink or red, I think, for women. And um, they have basic information. So it's either your age or your ethnicity, where you're from, and you know basic things about you. And that's what profiles they show you so you can have an example of how the profiles look like. Um, to get more details about it, of course, you have to send your request. And also they have an app. You can download their app and you can you know, search through the database like that. Now, um, overall, I don't think this is enough information for someone to know if there's a compatibility between anyone or how the website works. Um, one thing I noticed that because it kind of knew, um, you know, that when they introduced the website, they had this limited number of people that can actually apply. Right now, I don't know if it's the same. Like when I try to register, I can tell if I was going to get in or not. Um, but they do have a selected amount of people that they will accept. And once they reach that capacity, they'll let you know. So you have to wait and apply again. So you can't just apply and then get in. So another thing I noticed is that in the beginning, they have this marital test. To, they have these questions where you can, you know, answer. And at the end, they tell you if you are ready to get married or if you should stay single, basically. Um, and, you know, it was very interesting because the questions, to me, I don't think it's geared for people who are adults or looking to get married. It's just so childish in a way, not to offend anyone, but it seems like it's someone, you know, the, the questions and the answer that's there, it's like the options that you have to select are like, meant for people who are like teenagers um, because it doesn't look practical for an adult to have those options you know to answer anyways it's, it's more like a fun thing because when you get to the end um, whether you answer it properly or not it'll say yes you seem to be ready for marriage or you know no you're not really ready for marriage but no there's there's still hope kind of thing and click here to register or click here to stay single um, so even if you click here to stay single or click here to register you will still be prompted to register <laughs> So basically, that's just a fun way, I guess, to get you into their website. It doesn't really tell you anything else. There's not much details in that uh, so-called test that they have. So, so that's pretty much it. Um, I know I went through this really quickly, but um, in summary, if you want to know if it's a website that you should join and try it out, why not? I'm going to say why not because, you know what, you can just see how it's like because, you know, if you are serious, they may have some people who are actually also serious on this website and because it's so selective in who they pick and so selective on what they offer you, maybe you might find someone that is a good match uh, for you. So um, try it out, check it out, let me know. And you know what, let me know what you think and if you did try it and how it's like, it'd be really cool to know if it's really helpful to you. Take care, assalamualaikum. alaikum.